Okay, we're gonna <clears throat> we're working on this 10 ton. This compressor right here is pulling I don't know 27 amps. It's it's shot. It's three phase. I am going the right way. Nothing to ground. But uh, you know all my all my terminals ohm out good. I'm at like 1.3 on all of them. But uh, yeah, it's it's shot. This other one got a leak right where they normally leak right here so to get these bot to get this guy by on until I can get a, either a compressor or a new unit to get him by I'm going to um, I'm going to do some hillbilly uh, transfer here so I got my hose right here with my Schrader depressor I'm going to go over here sorry I'm going to go over here on the liquid line And I, so that's the liquid line of this compressor right here. Number, uh, that would be number one. I have it disconnected because the thing is not, it's just pumping even. It's not a burnout or anything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer refrigerant from compressor number one to compressor number two. And I'll show you how I'm doing that. Hopefully this works. I don't know if it'll work. I just thought of it. I'm like, okay, so I don't have to bring the refrigerant jug up here. So I got my Schrader core remover with my Tesla Smart Probe. And I got a short hose back there with another Schrader depressor. So the logic is when I start pulling, this thing starts pulling uh, on the suction, it'll pull that liquid right out and I'll throttle it. I'll just throttle it. And... We'll give it a shot, see what it does. Let's see, where's my smart probe here? Yeah, it's my smart probe, don't have anywhere to put it. Let's try it, see what it does. Still waiting for my uh so you got <clears throat> I had to throw the filter door on right there. Sorry it's so bright up here, but not you know I'm on a white roof. I had to throw this on to get the head pressure down because I was almost pushing 300. And uh no I can't see I can't even see. So there we go. So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna have to transfer a little more. Transfer a little more. All right, you stay right there. Okay, let me transfer a little more. I, I can't do 10 things at once here. Okay, so I kept on transferring. And as you see, my super heat's coming down. When I first started that compressor up, I had 18 PSI in suction, 120 on the, the head pressure. This thing was super low. So I'm going to say that's good until I can actually pull the charge and actually reweigh it in after, after I either make a repair, because if I'm going to make a repair, I'm going to repair that compressor that has the leak, and I'm going to put a new compressor in, and we're going to change this thing over to MO99. But until then, that's what I did just to get these guys heat and they don't have to pay me anything for a refrigerant. I just transferred it over so basically it's labor. 
but this should be good right there. Super heat's coming down still. Probably overcharged darn thing, you know. But it's got a leak, so it should all even out. Now we're staying right around 11 super heat, so we're right there. But it should last, hopefully last uh you know, a week or so until I can get back either do the repair or do the replacement. Alright, that's just a quick uh you know, let me hold on, let me shut this down here. <laughs> but that was taking it out of my one that's down right here to the other, so that's the high pressure, high pressure line which got most of the liquid in there and then I hooked up a little shorty hose and my core remover and then I just sucked it right out of the other circuit and that's all I did but uh, I'm like what am I going to do you know I don't want to I don't want to pull a charge right in the middle of summer here I don't want to pull a charge really quick well not really quick it takes some time and uh have, have to redo the whole thing all over, get the MO99 up here, the recovery tank, but right now this will work. So I just transferred the just transferred the refrigerant over from one circuit to the next. Alright guys, like and subscribe. I gotta go. It's busy 85 degree day in Michigan. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.